you should buy the iPhone 11, guys. If you guys don't know, the iPhone 11 came out by Apple very recently, and uh, it's a pretty good phone because I think you guys should buy it. Not the iPhone 11 Pro or Pro Max, but just iPhone 11. It's an iPhone worth buying, even though it's not even released yet because it's like, look at that date, guys. It's like mm, September 12, 2019. So, pretty much, you, sh you guys should get the iPhone 11 for its cost. Also, side note, look at how much, uh, the things I have on my taskbar. Like, look at that. Whoa. I'm a busy bee. Alright. Uh, I'm a busy bee getting nectar from my parents. I, I don't know what that means. Alright, so, first of all, we're going to search up iPhone. Or actually, you know, yeah, I'll just search up iPhone 11. Not iPhone 10, because that's like years ago. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, lots of, look at this. iPhone 11 release date, price, news, and weeks. Tech Radar. I mean, it's not, it, it's not even released yet. I mean, it's just like, this is the iPhone 11, guys. You should really be looking into buying this thing. Alright, let's read it. Oh, nope, I do not want that. Uh, what is this? Alright. The iPhone 11 has one big feature that will really matter to users. And more so than any element, it's got a killer price. While the iPhone 11 Pro and Pro Max steal the show of uh, headline spec, the new iPhone has a lower price than the iPhone XR, the surprise hit from last year, and the yet improves the spec in a few key areas. Oh my gosh. So what are they just saying? That the iPhone 11 beats the specs in the Pro and the Pro Max. That is one reason to buy the iPhone 11. Farewell to you all. Uh, bye bye Let's just close this window. And experience the earth and this earth should buy the iphone 11. goodbye